This is the plaintiff, Rhonda Marin. She says she was walking her very chatty dog around her neighborhood, and the defendant's 90-pound dog attacked her poor defenseless 9-pound Yorkie Bella for no reason. Bella was on a leash. The plaintiff's dog was not. And something has to be done about this menace in the neighborhood. When she presented the defendant with a $2,394.20 vet bill, the rude woman told her to shove it where the sun don't shine. Some nerve. So she's suing. This is the defendant, Galena Blatcher. She says the plaintiff was walking her dog on her property, and her dog ran to the front of her yard and stared the plaintiff's dog down. The plaintiff's dog wasn't on a leash. There was no blood or anything, and the cops agreed there seemed to be no scuffle between the two dogs. Oh, where all is money, hogwash. She's accused of a doggy disaster. All parties, please hit your radiance. Welcome back to the People's Court Next Case. In the dock of the plaintiff says the defendant's 90-pound dog attacked her 9-pound Yorkie, Bella, and won't pay the bet bills. But the defendant says the Yorkie was on her property and the pooch stared her dog down. It's the case of no Bella. Thank you, Douglas. Rhonda Marin, you are suing Galena Blacher? Yes, sir. Blacher? For $2,394.20 that you are out as a result of a dog bite when, according to you, her dog got loose and came out to bite your dog. Correct. Tell me what happened. So it was a Friday night, Memorial Day weekend. I was walking my dog like I normally do. We live in a community. Uh, as we were coming down her block, past her house. My dog barks, little dogs bark, all dogs bark to other so dogs. So yappy dog. Okay, so she's barking that barks? around. That's what my, my husband, my husband wouldn't let me get a small dog because he's worried that they'll yap. They Your dog yap. a yapper? She, well, yes, outside, yes, even okay. at cars. So she's a yapper and she was just barking. And the next thing I know, um, Galena's dog came barreling out from the backyard there's no this, fence? There was no fence, and there were no sidewalks, and I have pictures to show you that there were no sidewalks, so you have to walk in the street because you can't walk on anybody's Where property. Where were you when the attack happened? In the street. Where was the, your dog when the attack happened? With me on a leash. We're in the street is where the scuffle happened. And so the first bite happened on her back, and then she, I'm trying to pull her away, and then the second bite happens here in her left groin. At that point, by the time I finally got my dog, she came running out and was able to get her dog and brought her dog through from the street into her garage. At that so point, when, according to you, when she comes out, she comes to the street to get her dog? Absolutely. Okay, go on. Because I was in the street, my phone was in the street, my sneakers were in the street. Uh, your sneakers blew off your feet? Well, everything got crazy because my dog got bit and the sound of a dog getting it is not a pleasant one. Nope. So I was a little disturbed. At that point, I, I just said, I'm calling the police. And she said, you should not be walking your dog down this street. It's a, it's, we can walk our dogs wherever we want. Now, my dog has had a previous altercation. With, with this same dog? With this same dog. How long ago? Two years ago on the 15th, and I have the um, vet report from that time. I did not report it at that time because I was with my other dog walking and it was an honest mistake. She opened up her garage, she had a dog with her and the dog just ran. I didn't press charges because my dog got bruised but there okay. was no issues. At that right. point, I presented her with a bill at that time, and she paid it. It was like two, I have the Is receipt. Is that accurate? Had your dog gotten out once before and attacked that dog? Not exactly. It's first time it was happened, it, uh, she uh, gave me a bill written down by rent, and I pay her money. How much was it? Like, uh, I don't remember, close to $300, okay. first time. And, she knows every time that we pass by, and we pass by like every day, it's like fight between this dog. She never go away. I have to keep my big dog to not to fight with her. All right, but how did your big dog get out to, to bite her? You see, I, we, me and my dog, we was behind the house on backyard, but immediately when my dog feel her dog, she feel free and run. I Wait, was, hold on one second. You yeah. and your dog were in the backyard yeah. doing what? We sit and uh, she was on a leash, but she, uh, when she hear this one, nobody can stop. In a second, I was behind her 
I thought, oh, it's, and she already sit, come down, and waiting for me. Uh, my dog was- Where was she sitting? On, uh, I show you the pictures, it's like everything here. This is like my property, my dog. I'm gonna give it to her, and then she'll ask you the question. Yeah, come on oh, up yeah. here. Come on. All right. This, this is what I find her stuff on my back, on my front yard. You found what stuff there? Her phone, look like she's talking the phone, and this is her phone. Her and where phone. is she sitting? My dog already sits right here. No, but, not your dog, her. Where was she sitting? She, according to uh, your... Actually, if your I dog is sitting, then you didn't get out there one second behind the dog. No, like... You know, it's not the house. I ran right behind my dog. It was okay. maybe half Where minute. was the plaintiff? Was the plaintiff sitting on the floor? No. Okay, where was the plaintiff? She was across the road. Where? On in the street? Yes. She and was. the dog was in the street? Her dog was on her hand. This is, and then your this dog is, was up front here. So you yes. missed the entire thing. Yes, okay. I did. So I you did. don't know where it happened? No, but I see okay. evidence. But you see evidence by yes. way of what? Her telephone? Something, phone, uh, brush, I don't know what. Uh, she, in this moment, yes, she, she tried to take that from uh, ground. She take. This is like three minutes after this. And? And no leash here. Usually she walk uh, with dog with long leash. Now so there's a, what makes you think no leash here? Because I didn't see this is what I make. What's the red thing around your dog there? Is that a collar? May I approach? Yeah, no, I'll just, oh, no, don't. Thank you. Not now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a bit. You can go ahead and um, go back. Okay. A harness. Uh, that's the harness? Right, and that then orange in this thing picture, is the harness. Right, in this picture, where's the retractable leash? It might be in my hand. Yeah. I don't know. It's I probably think it in is my actually. hand I think with I the doggy bag thing yeah. there. Well, I mean, nobody bothers to put a harness if they're not going to put a leash. You're not, you're not suggesting that her dog was off a leash, are you? I think so. this is what happened. You think a she lot of things, but do you have evidence of them? Did anybody I, I else have, see what I happened? I have only evidence what I see. I wasn't this moment. I wasn't okay. there. May I see the evidence from the, um, veterinary, the veterinary bill? You want to see the bill? Would you like to see the pictures as well? Yeah. What happened to the dog? I'm, I'm, I'm not seeing... Oh. Okay, yeah. now I'm seeing it. Oh, mm -hmm. how many stitches? She had about 20 in her hump. We didn't realize when I picked her up after this incident, I'm looking all over here thinking she's all right. I didn't realize until we got into the car after security took me back to my mom this to them so that she was already this. punctured also in the left inside groin where okay. she had to have surgery. The hump was more su superficial in the back, which also shows that she was running away from Do the door. Do you see that? What's that look like? Stitches? I see uh, minutes after this uh, happened. I oh, don't so know. You're, be you're in a better position to tell me what's wrong with the dog than the veterinary who did the surgery. Do you see that? I see this. One. Okay, yes. so do you think the vet maybe cut the dog up just so he could sew her back I'm up? I'm even not sure it's the same dog, so it's a... Are you serious? Because I see dog after two minutes. What, I don't know what happened, but... Uh, I do. So, do small dogs like Yorkies typically incite bigger dogs, or are they just afraid of them? They're not afraid of the big dogs, but they could be a little aggressive. They can be aggressive. They just to they play and... Bark, huh? I have a little dog who incites my big dog nonstop. Okay, fair enough. What do you think? What do you think? I think they can, yes, absolutely. Do they generally? Do smaller dogs often... Are they aggressive toward bigger dogs because they have always perceive a threat and they want to protect themselves? Yes. Always, I do, in my opinion, think so. You know what they call that in the court? Um, Leading the witness, that's what I just said. <laughs> okay, going inside the courtroom. You don't think that's the same dog? Who knows? Hand her all the pictures, will you? What type of dog is your dog? Golden Doodles. Okay, so go on. So I waited for um, security come, who took a report. I was told, I can't confirm it, that she was issued a summons from our community for a dog off leash because there were rules. Did the community issue you a summons? Yes, I paid twenty five. How much was it? Twenty five dollars. And yeah. did animal control come? Yes, animal yes. control came. Nevertheless, my dog was in surgery. She was in the hospital for four days. I had to take two weeks off to take care of her. Um, she's still traumatized, and that's all okay. I had to take time off from work. All I wanted was my vet bill to be Not paid. even that. All you wanted was the part of your vet bill that insurance didn't pay. Thank you. 
That's all you wanted. So what she And that's had all they're done, suing you for. And that's what she did with sending checks for twenty five dollars. Oh, oh wait, she the whole thing happened on her property and it was self defense, defense of property, and her dog's not responsible and you're making the whole thing up because your dog was fine, but she sent you payment. Right. $25, which I didn't cash because I thought maybe the first check she forgot a few zeros, okay? <laughs> and then when I got the second check, I was like, oh my God. So, you know, I, I wrote her a letter. I left her a voicemail on her phone. And at that, which point I decided that I was filing a small Why did course. you pay $25 and then another $25 if according to you, it's not your fault? Because it's not my fault, but st I know a dog was bite on my property, but do a dog was bite. No, if it, if it happens on your property, if her dog goes onto your property and gets bit by your dog when your dog's defending her own property, I don't know why this should be this way, because I am relatively sure that no dog has you reviewed a survey of land <laughs> and doesn't understand where the property ends. They but don't. The theory is that, no, that's your property. Hey, don't let your dog go on her property. The problem that I'm having is that you don't know where it happened because you didn't see it. So where do you come off after your dog gets loose and it's not the first time, it's the second time? No, it's saying, third time. No, it's third time. that dog, your dog bit her dog and you admitted to paying the bill one time before. And then you're looking me right in the eye and saying, no, nah, it happened on my private. How do you know? Oh, I was one second behind and my dog was already seated. So, how do you no, know? No, no. Oh, her phone was on my driveway. No, she's on the phone because she's freaking out. Okay, well, something else. A brush was on my driveway. Do you have a picture of it? No, I have a picture of my driveway. And then I have you paying two no, payments. No, I, I actually... You know what? No, stop yes. talking. Okay. Stop talking. Pay the lady. It is okay. your fault for your dog perennially getting out. Let me, however, make a suggestion to you. She doesn't have a right to say, don't walk in the street in front no, of my no, house. I you should not. Stop like talking. This. Nobody's asking you anything. She doesn't have a right to say that. No. But at some point, I, you know, if there is I another route. Know. All right. <laughs> Verdict for the Clearly. plaintiff, $2,394.20. Pay the lady. So the plaintiff prevails a little over $2,300. Ms. Blatcher, you have to yes. pay. You, you finally have to pay. You gonna yeah. listen to what, the, if you'll step I, back just a little I bit. I'm gonna pay. You okay I with it now? You gonna do it? Uh, you know, a uh, judge didn't hear all story. Yes, the yeah, judge I heard, know. the yeah, judge I heard. Know. And you didn't see the whole thing anyway. So you kept saying um, it didn't happen that way, but it did. No, no, but this judge. lady also harassed me. She really, and I have evidence, and nobody listened. Look, it doesn't matter what she did. Yeah, I know. You owe the money. Yeah, You're going to pay, I know. right? Yes. Okay, good enough. Keep the Thank peace you. in your neighborhood. Yes. Pay the I, bill. Yes. Watch out for your dog. This is why I have my dog to keep peace. <laughs> well, this must have been a very traumatic experience for you. you Beyond. Know, being a dog lover, I can certainly appreciate. Yes, it's horrible. Like, oh, horrible is right. How is she now? Have Thank Bella God, now. that yeah. is the bottom line. Bella's great. She's Bella's great. She's healed. She's, she's wonderful. Adorable. And she's terrific. That's yes. good. And justice has been served. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so You're much. You're very, very welcome. Bye -bye. Okay. Harvey. Okay, Doug, you know, if a dog has a history of biting, it is highly relevant in the present case.